Okay, well, hello again, everybody. Um, never got anything done during the week. Had big plans, but stuff got in the way, and I never got to do. And I had everything done, anything done. So, anyways, um, back at it again here. Uh, I have to go and, and uh, extend that duct down and for and to the rear far enough that I can continue it off. From underneath um, when the time comes but for now before I put the uh, put the aluminum sheet in there I need to uh, um, extend that piece of piping down below that I don't know if you can see it there probably not uh, anyways there's a cross member down there just above that piece of copper pipe that you see there and um, I have to uh, go down into there and toward the back and I'll get it back there about three feet or so and then leave it for now um, but I got to do all that before the aluminum goes on um, what I'm actually up to right now is I've got figured out where my bathroom vent goes which is right in this area here and I'm uh, getting ready to cut the hole for the ducting uh, from the on the bay side so I'm gonna go do that now. I I got uh, uh, started on that during the week, and uh, <laughs> my uh, hole saw was so dull. All it did is take the paint off. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I uh, had to go get another one. And anyhow, uh, so that's fine. But I'm I'm just gonna start there. I'm gonna try and uh, get as much of this ducting done back here as I can. Much of this done, and then I can get the uh, you know get this finished up. Get the uh, wood, the plywood back on, get it insulated and whatnot, and get the plywood back onto here. And then I'll pull these uh, these ones up and, wor and work my way forward. But I'm trying to get the uh, uh, you know, as much of this done as I can uh, this weekend. So I got one vent's got to go into the for the bathroom's going to go there, and then the one here there's, it's kind of laid there for the kitchen there. And then um, that's pretty much uh, once that's done, then I can uh, then I can go ahead and and uh, insulate and put the plywood all back in again. So that's what I'm up to for the next little bit. Well, and I should point out that cutting this hole through there was four layers of material to go through, which is why my Hole saw ended up getting going dull, but uh, so there's this piece, and then there's this piece with uh, insulation in between it, and then this is the outside. Uh, well, it's actually the inside, but the uh, the la I drilled from the outside, so the last piece that went out, and this is just the this uh, piece right in here, and the insulation's in behind it. So, uh, anyways, that's a lot of material. It's all uh, you know, about 16 gauge or so thick, but um, four of them in a row <laughs> with more than my hole saw could handle. So, um, well, it was an old hole saw. So, <laughs> anyway. I got a new one. I'm going to do the same thing up at the uh, through the next hole. All right, and in the bay here, that's where the hole is going to go for the uh, for the heater duct. So, so I'm going to cut that out next. All right, I thought I'd show you what six hours work looks like. <laughs> got. Uh, the duct for the bed, uh, yeah, for the, for the bathroom in, all uh, mounted and installed. Got the uh, this line here all finished up. I'm gonna go down and finish uh, that part of it down into the uh, engine bay uh, next, as I would said uh, previously, and I have the. Uh, vent in the kitchen installed 
Um, just the vent. I got to pull this plywood up yet to, before I can run the run the piping, so I'm not going to worry about that right at the moment. Um, and then I'll go down below here. All right, and there's the duct in the. Uh, that's for the. That's the bathroom one. <laughs> I might build a plywood box around that once I seal the uh, seal the opening there, or or not. This bay is going to be heated. Uh, the other, my other bus, done exactly the same, and uh, there's you, the uh, heat loss is not even noticeable. So I might I may not even worry about it, but I might. Uh, Put a box around it who knows anyways that's the one in the uh the bathroom and then the, over here oops there's the the one for the, in the kitchen that i was showing you up from up top and like i said just got the vent in there with the hole cut but uh to take that uh, three-quarter inch plywood up to, uh, to put the elbow in and all that so and then run the piping so that'll be a little bit further down the road I have to say I'm not a big fan of these Milwaukee hole saws I got uh, it was almost 50 bucks for one for a saw and I uh, got one hole out of it I may have been, you know, part of it might be my fault, I don't know. I'm trying to run it fairly slow, but that's not the easiest thing to do with a cordless drill, so. But, anyways, I'm not impressed. I had to go down, down and buy another one. I got two holes cut and cost me a hundred bucks so far. I don't know if it's something I'm doing or if uh, these Milwaukee saws aren't the greatest or what. I'm not sure. Anyway. Throw them at for now, so keep on going. Okay, so I don't know how well it shows up here, but I got this furnace ducting down, routed down into the engine bay there. And I think that's about as far as I'll go here for now with that. I'll go ahead and button this up. I will go down below and uh, show you what it looks like in the engine area okay so this is down underneath in the engine bay or in whatever you want to call this uh, so I think I'll put when I continue it I will put a, another 90 degree elbow up and come up along the bottom of the floor here and then uh, off toward the back of the bus uh, once this is all finished but uh, I'll just leave it where it's at for now. All right, so I got the this uh, all finished up here, insulation back in place, and I'm just going to uh, start putting the plywood back down and and uh, insulate as I work my way forward. I put I ended up uh, what I did underneath here. Actually, I should have filmed it before I put it all back together there, but anyway forgot uh, a piece of, of insulation that was there originally on the other piece of um, on the other uh, piece of aluminum I ended up cutting a piece of aluminum and uh, screwing right through that on the bottom side cutting it to shape and then and then just screwing it up from the bottom uh, before I put that piece back in there again so uh, it has so it's insula insulated back the way it was um, so I don't have to crawl up underneath there and <laughs> and spray foam it. So that's all good and fit really nice. I uh, just siliconed it all back down again and then screwed it down so it should be all sealed up. And uh, I'm just going to start working my way forward. Okay, so here's where I'm how I'm doing the uh, insulation. Uh, I think I got some some in my throat. Uh, <coughs> anyways. Uh, 
I want to keep that channel clear so I'm not putting any, any more insulation in it. There's insulation under that original uh, flooring there. So I'm not going to put any more down there. I want to keep that as clear as possible for the... Uh, because uh, that's going to be the return air channel, so I don't want to you know, have any chance or any uh, chance of insulation falling down in there and plugging it up or anything. So I'm uh, just going to leave it open. Um, that's that uh, pipe there is going to be hot all the time anyway, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be uh, plenty of uh, you know it'll keep that whole area uh, warm just by convection anyhow. So. Anyways, I'm going to drop the first, uh, or the next piece of uh, plywood down, and uh, and then I'll move on to the next one. Alright, well there's as far as I got to tonight. Uh, got the shower pan and all that piece of plywood down, and screwed down. Uh, shower pan back in place, drain hooked up. Uh, had to make some adjustments on this uh, this uh, floor vent here. It, it went ended up being uh, just into that that two by two there. So um, I had to uh, just pull it out and uh, trim it a little bit. Um, anyways, so that's just as far as I got to tonight. Um, I'll uh, call that it for this uh, video. I guess I'll. I'll, I'm going to try and finish that piece up tomorrow and um, get the uh, toilet closet flange back in and all that kind of stuff, get it insulated under there and get the next piece of plywood down and then um, and then we're going to uh, I'll take my folks down to, uh, to Arizona uh, in two weeks um, but I uh, got some work to do on their motorhome and their or their trout their fifth wheel actually and the pickup and stuff. So I don't think I'll uh, do any more uh, on the bus here till probably uh, well a little bit this week. But other than that, um, it'll be uh, next uh, well into November before I get anything more done. So it'll be uh, about a month. Well, not quite a month, I guess, but three weeks before I, uh, well, yeah, it'll be a month before I get anything done, so, anyway, whatever, it'll be uh, a month or so before I get another video up, okay, talk to you later, bye, okay, so I ended up having a little bit more time to uh, work on this thing, probably, uh, probably today will be it, though, then we'll move on to the, uh, getting ready to go down south, um, so, Getting ready to put this uh, this piece of plywood in here, insulate it and everything. And um, what I did is put small pieces of this same material that I used for uh, stringers here around the uh, around the uh, floor vent. And then I'll put the piece of plywood on here, and then it'll be sealed all the way around. Anyways, that's how I did it. And I'll do the same thing back there if you see the uh, well all of them actually but this one here you know there's a gap between the the uh, floor vent and the finished floor so that um, uh, piece of material just uh, fills that gap and I can put the vent cover you know the the vent cover on it uh, once I put the, uh, the hardwood flooring down anyways that's it all right, so I'm ready to put this next piece of plywood down. All insulated. See what it looks like afterwards. I cut the uh, hole for the vent. <sighs> so, find out in a few minutes. How good my tape measure works. Okay, got that piece of plywood back down. Toilet's back, sitting on its uh, on its flange. 
That worked out pretty good. I had to do a little bit of trimming, but it was pretty darn close. That's good. So I'll move on to uh, move all this, huh, all the crap, and uh, pull those next two uh, pieces of plywood up. Alright, so the next panel is ready to go down. Got it uh, all insulated here. Got the uh, furnace ducting run forward. This other furnace duct all connected up. So, should seal up fairly well. So, lay this next to uh, piece of plywood back down getting fairly late so that's probably as far as I'll get to tonight I'll uh, maybe try get the, the other piece down uh, tomorrow it's uh, it'll go down pretty easy or pretty quick anyways for now okay so that piece of plywood's down now a few screws holding it um, it's pretty nice same as I did the first time. Anyways, as far as I'm going to get tonight, I'm going to put some uh, some stoppers of some sort in here just to um, uh, just to keep this from moving around. Um, I'm just something to, to uh, just for it to sit up against. I don't know what exactly yet, but probably just a piece of plywood or something. Glue it to the to the floor down down below there, just to keep from moving around. Anyways, that's it for tonight. All right, so got this uh, next piece of plywood down. Next uh, one and a half pieces actually. Back to uh, slide out here. Got the one. So that where that. Uh, Piece of hardwood is I got just got it screwed down, um, and the uh, that slide is uh, running on it, so that's the finished floor height there. So that uh, looks like the height's all going to work out good, um, and uh, I think this is about as far as I'm going to be able to get. I was managed to get a few more, you know, a couple more days in than more than I thought it was. I thought figured last weekend I was going to be. That'd be as far as I'd get, but I was able to squeeze out another couple days here. So, anyways, um, yeah. So I'll be uh, down in taking my folks down to Arizona uh, for the next three weeks. We're leaving uh, next Saturday, so uh, this is about as far as I'm going to get to. Uh, well, it is as far as I'm going to get to. Uh, I might put a piece of small piece in right where I where I screwed up there I'll probably do that yet but other than that and then uh, when I get back and I'll start doing this uh, area up here under the slide outs and then that'll be the floor done get that all insulated up get the the uh, all the plywood down and that'll be the, the uh, floor then I'll start working on the uh, probably in the walls back in the around the, the bathroom and whatnot um, I think I'm gonna go and go ahead and put the walls so the, the framework up and uh, when I go and do the uh, spray foam insulation you'll you know you just be able to get in behind the the upright there the stud and um, and spray and foam it so I'm gonna Go ahead and put the, the framework in uh, once the floor's done. Anyways, that's it for probably three weeks or so. Talk to y'all later.